Crews are working to clean up a creek in Jefferson City after a diesel fuel tank spilled into the water. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lucas Geisler. This happened on the Lincoln University Allen T. Busby Farm. The, excuse me. The Missouri Department of Natural Resources says Lincoln University told them about the spill earlier today, which was coming from a tank on the Cole County Public Works property just across the street. ABC 17's Nia Hinson joins us live from the farm tonight. Nia, the leak has stopped, but you're told crews could be out there cleaning all night. Lucas, although that leak was stopped earlier on today, I'm told the main goal tonight is to make sure that diesel is contained to one area and doesn't travel any further than it already has. Eric Land, where a Cole County Public Works says in all his years of working, what happened today was definitely a first. Landwehr says his department was prepared to deal with the spill, but it's always a surprise when a plan turns from words on paper to reality. You know, you, nor you normally you put the plan and it's a book and it's something that just sits on the shelf. Mm -hmm. You never think you actually have to use it, uh, but we did in this case. Around 930, Lincoln workers smelled a gas-like odor and alerted the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. Landwehr says he was shocked when he showed up and saw the pink-colored water and confirmed it came from a fuel tank from Cole County Public Works. I am here down by the creek where that diesel spilled over and I've been down here for a little over an hour and you can definitely still smell the smell of diesel in the air. It's very strong. It's been lingering right now. Environmental Works has just been working um, to contain the area and make sure that the leak does not um, go any further down the river and they're going to be here all night is what I'm told. Workers placed white padding into the water to absorb the spill as well as through sea moss. And the spill is not contained just the small patch of water, but also stretches across Highway 54. Landwehr says the spill will have no effect on the university's farm, and that despite the long hours it could take, workers won't leave until that water returns back to its normal color. Once that's done, um, there's going to be some additional uh, investigation of of the soil on the on the site, or at least coming from the coming from our site. The landware also tells me that he does expect that cleanup to take about two days, but that crews will be back out on the site monitoring the area for several days after that. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Nia Henson, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Nia. Landware also says he's unsure of how much this will cost the department. That can't be figured out until a full assessment is done. 